This Earth Day, many of you may be celebrating in a number of ways. San Diego County will have a virtual Earth Day fair, sharing some fun activities you can do with your family. And Oceanside's mayor will join the community in cleaning up their neighborhoods. Plus, the San Diego Zoo and Safari Park will have special activities throughout the day. And remember, this Saturday, I Love a Clean San Diego is holding their annual Creek to Bay cleanup. So you'll want to sign up for that. And now turning to this very special interview here. When you think of NASA, you might think of, you know, rockets launching to maybe another planet, humans walking on the moon. But NASA actually has a variety of missions focused on studying changes right here on Earth. They're studying sea level rise, hurricanes, and here to talk about this with us on this Earth Day is Ivona Ketanich. So good to see you this morning. Thank you so much. Happy to be here. Happy Earth Day. Now, when most people think of NASA, they might think of, you know, space exploration. You're doing critical research on our planet as well, and you're able to see climate change happening. Uh, you know, the ISS, a big role in this, International Space Station. Let's talk about that because there's quite a big launch happening tomorrow as well. So get into a little bit of that. A UCSD graduate, oceanographer Megan MacArthur will be on that flight. Some, what are some of those missions that involve the International Space Station? Yeah, so as you said, like, you know, having International Space Station up there is a great vantage point. So first you put astronauts there and you can, you know, explore basic things. But one thing that is really cool for us as scientists is that's our laboratory up there. So when we want to launch a real mission satellite, it takes us a couple of years, sometimes five to six years. But astronauts, when they go up there, they can take instruments and they can be attached to the International Space Station and give us a continuous view of the Earth. Uh, for example, there's cool, um, cool instruments such as OCO3 that's looking at a carbon dioxide that we know it's important for the climate change, monitoring the carbon dioxide. But also astronauts themselves, they take amazing photography. And we can use that photography to see how the Earth is changing. So International Space Station is a one of the many thing, many things that NASA has up in the sky to look at the Earth, but it's really, really unique and awesome one. Yeah, it's not just about having these amazing views of the planet. You're learning so much from it. So talk about exactly. what you've learned about climate change. I mean, we know there's a lot of carbon dioxide that's warming our planet. How are you able to visualize that? So. NASA has a whole fleet of Earth observing satellites, and some of them, like the one that I mentioned, look at the carbon dioxide. But it's very important to remember that NASA, that Earth is kind of a pile of different systems interconnected together. So whatever happens in atmosphere, so that change of carbon dioxide will change something in ice, will change things in land, and it's going to change things in the ocean. So we have a whole fleet that is observing each of these systems, and we have been observing it for a long time. So we have this global view, continuous view of changes in the earth, and we can see how they work today, but we can also use that information to put it in our models and predict what these changes will do to each of these systems mm -hmm. in the future. Now, Ivana, I want to uh, talk to you about this because our viewers at home are seeing this incredible imagery of, you know, the poles, the ice, it looks like it's shrinking. Um, so yeah. explain that. I mean, are you, a are you able to see, you know, the fact that sea level rising is happening and glaciers are melting? Yes. Yes, so as I said, everything is interconnected. So you, you, you said yourself, you know, carbon dioxide um, and a bunch of these greenhouse gases and changing the temperature in the, in the atmosphere but it's interconnected. So this atmosphere is increasing the temperature. It's making the sea ice and the glaciers melt in the same way. So that's contributing to the sea level rise because now you have more water in there now. But then, you know, when you heat up the water, it starts expanding. So that's what's happening with the oceans. The ocean water is heating up and it's expanding. So those two things are causing the sea level rise. So we can see these disappearing glaciers. We can see the disappearance of the sea level rise, but we can also measure using a suite of instruments, especially the, the one that we just recently launched, Sentinel Mike Freilich, together with European Space Station. This increase in sea level rise that has, you know, not just continuously increasing, but it's actually accelerating, speeding up over the last 30 years that we have been observing that. And Ivona, if you can explain how that impacts, say, the hurricanes. We had a record number of hurricanes last year. We also yep. have a record number of wildfires, especially, you know, we know that all too well here in California. How does that then contribute to the hurricanes and wildfires? 
So, you know, when you're thinking about earth, you can just think about, you know, trying to make these changes in your house. So if you increase your heat, if it's really, really warm, what happens, things dry out, no? And this drying out is drying out the land, is drying out the, 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 the pieces of, of dead forest, and that is supporting these wildfires. On the other side, you have these hurricanes that you mentioned. So the ocean is heating up. This warm ocean is fuel for the hurricane. So maybe not that we're gonna see the result more of them. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna have with this temperature increase in the ocean, we're gonna have extended hurricane season, and these hurricanes are more, gonna become much more stronger, intense. And then there's like everything what's happening in the atmosphere. Warm air likes humidity. Mm -hmm. And that the humidity holds the precipitation. So the intensity of these hurricanes, so the amount of water they're gonna be dropping on us is going to increase. So it's every time you think about the earth, try to think about those changes in your little area, right. in your house, what would happen? And, and, and it's going to be very easy to understand how interconnected all these things are right. yeah. and how much of the impact can they have on your home or earth. Our tidy home. And then we're talking on a global level. Of course, it all is connected still this earth that we call home. Uh, Yvonne, I also want to talk about oceanography in NASA. I think some people may be surprised to hear that is a, a part of NASA. You and Megan, yes. right? Oh, I don't know if my audio just went out, but it did a little bit. Okay, I apologize. I know uh, we are running out of time, Ivona. I really appreciate your insight. Uh, real quick, what do you think about tomorrow's launch that uh, Megan MacArthur will be part of? I'm super excited. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a space geek. That's why I work for NASA. <laughs> yeah, we're glad to have you on. Thank you very much for sharing your space geek ways and your insight on our planet. It really is important information and research that you're involved in. Thank you and happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, yes. Of course, they are celebrating Earth Day in so many ways with NASA. Thank you, Ivana.